Hello everyone, this is LandoCal96, and I am joined today by Steve. Um, Iram98. I'm also Steve. We are both Steve. Steve and Steve. Even Steve. Steve and Steve. No, you're Steve, I'm Steven. Okay. So we are playing the Mystery of the Timekeeper. Ooh. And we got these chests here. Mysterious chests. With token list. And token overview and quick start guide. Let's read the quick start guide. Follow the story, complete the quests, find the hidden tokens, enjoy. We do recommend you take at least the to token list book with you. I have that book. I do too. Do you want to read the token overview? Uh, sure. There are 50 tokens to be found throughout this adventure, or 56 for two plus players. Oh, that's us. Yeah. Finding and collecting these is a side challenge. There are three different types of token. Tokens of seeking can always be reached simply by exploring. They are only ever found in a single chest. Sometimes they are hidden in plain sight, other times not so plain. There are 38 tokens of seeking in total. That's a lot of tokens of seeking. That is. Tokens of solving. They're only reached by finding buttons, levers, plates, etc. that reveal them. These can be hard to find. There are 12 tokens of solving. Ah. Not as many as the seeking ones. Yeah. Tokens of teamwork can be done with two plus players. That's us. Helping each other and cannot be soloed. They are marked by gold blocks. If playing alone, you can ignore any buttons or chests around gold blocks. There are six in total. And is that it? Yep. Well, there's more pages, but... Huh. Alright, well, I'm going to leave my token overview book here, and I'm just going to take the token list with me. Mm. So, it says there's a bunch of areas that you can go to. Um, the first one being Bill's Windmill. But I see no windmill. We are in a room. Oh, is this what the tokens look like? Uh, apparently... A right. piece of paper, a gas tear, and some dust. Alright, well, maybe we can talk to this guy. Which is belly button. Welcome, adventurer. Come to seek their fortune, I suppose? Well, I don't know about fortune, but you should head into the village. We can certainly use some help. Oh, look, it's night time. You see, we seem to be on the cups of an eternal darkness. The sun hangs in the horizon, never quite vanishing, and never quite rising. Maybe. Talk to the time steward in the clock tower. He might appreciate some help, if you can prove yourself trustworthy. Sweet. Alright, so... Let's go prove ourselves. So, they're in like an eternal... Eternal dust. Eternal twilight? Yeah, it's a twilight zone. Ah. Twilight zone with birch trees. Mm-hmm. Lots of birch trees. Look, there's the sun over there. It looks cool. You don't have the texture pack on, do you? No. I turned it off because in the texture pack, Steve looks really weird. Yeah. There's but a lot of weird sound sounds the coming from... really cool with the texture pack. You can't see it, but you yeah. just have to trust me. The, should I turn it on? Uh, yeah. Stay where you are. I'm going to turn it on. Hey! What happened to your face? Uh, I don't know what happened to your face. I don't know. What happened to my hand? It's, it's blue. I don't know. Alright, so this is with the texture pack on. For some reason, we're both Steve, and then in the texture pack, Steve looks really weird. Mm hmm This is a windmill. It's is this beautiful. Bill's wind? Is this Bill's windmill? Probably. The one that has a token of seeking? Let's see, what does it say? <laughs> Bill's bread, the best bread. Get your bloomin' bloomers today. Well, okay. So is this a bread bloomers? farm or a windmill? Uh, well, mills make, you know, they mill things. Let's, let's push his belly button. Greetings. You should really run along and speak to the time steward in the bread. clock tower. What? Found some bread. I'm stealing Hey, look, there's a little secret here. Token of seeking! Number Seek. one! Wait, what does it look like? It looks like oh, a piece of paper. Here, take some bread. Thank you. I stole it from Bill. <laughs> He'll never know. 
Let's go. Okay? No, no, Hi, Bill. We're just, we're just we're just headed to the bad. clock tower. Where's the clock tower? I think I know where the clock tower is. I think it's that big tower up there with the clock on it. Yeah, look at that. Pretty cool looking. Very cool looking. Very tall. Very, very tall. Oh, got stuck. Okay. Oh, man, so I guess we're going in here to talk to somebody. Whoa, nice. Sponge shirt. SpongeBob! Hey! Alright, touch his belly button. Oh, hello there, adventurer. As you've probably noticed by now, we have a serious problem. I don't know, it looks nice outside. You see, it isn't just. This isn't just a clock tower. This is the clock tower. It doesn't measure time, it actually is time. Wow, that's weird. However, the clock seems to have frozen at dusk and the sun is stuck. Hanging, not quite dropping, below the horizon. Well, this is not right. I appreciate your eagerness to help, but before I can tell you more, you're going to have to prove you are a trustworthy sort, capable of getting things done. We yeah, are, trust me. Head into the village and help some of the locals out. If you can gather at least five tokens of gratitude and put them into the chest beside me, then I will tell you more. I think Ooh. we need to have all five at once. Just ask yeah. around the village. You could check in the nearby guard tower, the mayor's house, the windmill, the farm, or any of the other houses nearby. Alright. Let's go back and help Bill, because we stole his bread. Nah, let's not help Bill. Let's explore the tower. There, It says in the book something about the clock tower. Uh, one token of solving and three tokens of seeking. So there should be some stuff to find around here. Look, some redstone. Mm -hmm. Where? Redstone lamps, I mean. Oh, maybe Redstone a, torches. A solving around here. Look, let's go up. Oh, up. Look, I'm on another level. Get on my level. Get off of my level. I'll push you down the ladder. No, do not. Up. I am not on a ladder. Well, the steps. That would be terrible to fall off these steps. We're so high up. Yeah, you'd die. Probably. Crack your head open and die. Hey, I think I found something. What? Aha! A token of seeking! Where are you? I'm, I'm down here. I'm like, oh. you, you should get on my level. Try to find some stuff. You should come up here to my level. There's Why? a lady up here. There's a lady? She's my friend. Really? She says, you know that Lando cow dude? Mm -hmm. I don't like it. Ah, dang it. That's what they all say. Mm-hmm. It's because you're weird. I'm not weird. Look at her. She's purple. Short. She got a, uh, she's got a purple sweater. That's cool. She's got a button. Right. Oh, hello there. Would you be a sweetheart to pass this message on to Juliet? I will do it me? valiantly. Oh, give me the letter. Ha. Huh? Dang it. Dang it, we dang it. The Let's keep going. Ooh. What are these buttons? What in the world? What did you do? What does that button do? What did do? you do? Push it again. I didn't see anything move. But I can hear I'm, it move. Okay, you press it again, and I'll stand over here. I thought I heard something over here. Uh huh. Press it again. Uh huh. I'm gonna go down some levels. You keep okay. pressing it. I'm alternating between the buttons. Okay, it was louder up here. Press the other one. I'm alternating between buttons. Maybe it's outside. You keep it pressing that. I'm going. I'm going out this way. Yeah, yeah. Oh, clouds. I should probably turn those off. Uh 
Uh-huh. Maybe this is the token of solving. Keep pressing it. Keep hearing it right over here. Like right here. I feel like what corner are you at? I'm at Come the over to the corner that the buttons are on. Okay. Cause yeah, this corner. Yeah. Let's see if you see anything here. It's not even making the sound anymore. Oh, go back. 